Hey guys, this is Sambu from Cloud Tech, and I hope all you are doing well. And thanks for joining my today's session. And our today agenda is like uh, how we can create our own web application, like a static web application, basically using Azure Storage account. So before jump to the demo, I would like to give you some highlight like what purpose we can use this uh, static web application. Suppose if you want to create your own app web, web application like uh, web, uh, what you call like website. Suppose uh, whatever resume we are maintaining, right? That resume details I want to put in one web uh, website. If you want to create your own website, right? So in that case, we can use this uh, static web application by using storage account. Or suppose uh, you have one application which is running and suppose that application like when it is going, something is happened under maintenance or something is due to some reason that application is going down. So in that case, suppose if you want to give that user uh, like a, uh, like message like uh, now, now application is under maintenance or something like as soon as that uh, uh, application having some issue, then that maintenance that static uh, web page will bring it bring it up. So that customer won't affect like they will think like OK, application is under maintenance so that uh, they won't worry about that. Otherwise, it will give some uh, unnecessary error message to them. So that will be impact your business. And one more thing like uh, uh, suppose if you want to create your own profile uh, in that case also you can utilize the, this uh, static web application. So to create the static web application, first of all, what we need basically. Suppose if you don't use the cloud, right? Then what you need to do? You need to create your own domain. You need to purchase basically your own domain. Then you need to purchase the server. Then on top of that server, you need to deploy your static web page. So that is like it. Uh, uh, many headache and uh, defined kind of cost, right? So, uh, the domain cost, then that uh, server cost, and then on top of that, you need to maintain that. But if you use the uh, cloud, either is the AWS S3 or maybe Azure storage account, then you know you no need to bother about those things. Like uh, no need to uh, worry about like maintenance, like server is down or up. That that will be reduced and that headache you won't have. So I will show you how we can create that uh, uh, static web application. Suppose uh, for that, suppose I need to create one storage account. So let's create that storage account. And this is the subscription and under which resource group you want to create. Then here, suppose I am giving some move file and the profile. Suppose my profile. Anything name you can give here and then uh, which type these all details in my previous video right about the storage account. I already talk about if you don't see that video, I will put that link in the description so that you can go through that like uh, which option like region performance redundancy all I explained there. So I will select the local redundancy then and I will go for standard. The next this all also option then this is the next. Uh, I will not do anything. All are default. Then review and create. Create. It's taking some time to deploy uh, this uh, storage account, so it is deployed now. Still under progress. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it is provisioning. Okay, still in deployment. Let's just wait two minutes. Yeah, now it is done. So we can go to here, home page. Then we can open this. Go to storage account. Then Sumbo profile. Okay. Now, if you want to use this uh, storage account as a static web application, then what you need to do? You need to enable first that uh, static. So one setting will be here. 
to static yeah static website right if you go to just a uh, bi i would like to show you one thing here suppose if you go here right uh, just a minute if you go to container only one uh, logs is there if you want to create you can create your container but uh, now if you enable this uh, static website right just to very simple step just to enable this one then your INDES index dot html and if you want to maintain any error page like uh, 400 or 404 uh, 404 something like that if you want to maintain error error or error dot html if any error is occurred then this uh, page will bring it up and uh, or else if you open this your application then this index.html whatever content will be there that will be displayed in that browser and then saved so now it saves is done so if you, we need to copy this uh, url this is the endpoint your web application endpoint if you click here now it's a completely blank nothing will display here yeah Error pages bring a request content does not exist. OK, now go to your container. If you see here now on web, so our entire static uh, whatever uh, HTML content will be have right that entire thing we need to deploy here. I mean to say we need to upload here. So for that I have already created one. So So I have already created one static uh, HTML page and here this all this thing I maintain. So, uh, I will create separate video for web application like how we need to create uh, this index docs HTML and then I for styling purpose I am using some CSS and for uh, for different kind of event right I am using uh, jQuery and then uh, what you call JavaScript and uh, for uh, like uh, responsive responsive in the sense like it should be fit your every defined uh, display like mobile or browser or desktop any any resolution right it can be fit so for that i am using uh, uh, bootstrap okay so let's uh, upload this all content here browse here okay so Select all. Upload. So it will take some time to upload all. So I think it's uploaded. Internet speed is good. All are uploaded. Now, if you go here, if you hit here, now my web page is ready. It will be look like this. This is our cloud tech and the profile about this profile and this is the uh, image and then content whatever content you want you can put but this all style I'm using CSS basically and then profile like uh, this profile right profile under like uh, which all programming language technology then restful web service then DevOps then this is the ETL I have put the content and uh, for this this event right on click event I am using uh, what you call that uh, JavaScript basically jQuery and this is the Python what whatever description you want to put you can put this all the description here then you can close this one if you want any other profile you can just click here you will see that and like this it's very nice look and config and then if you want here you can click here then this is the profile part and if you noticed here it is highlighted and if you go about part then about part it will be highlighted here but the header part is the fixed for that this style purpose i am using jquery and uh, css so here uh, hello welcome to my page myself sambur from uh, uh, trade data currently working senior software engineer this is my humble report to make my page and this if you click here see more maybe it will take you in different page if you click here it will take you in my linkedin page basically and then contact 
my gift i gave this contact details here this is like a sample basically so uh, any web page you can create here like your profile or resume or your company details how you want based on your business then here i have a facebook details if you click here it will take you in facebook one page that is a facebook page it will take you then if that uh, see more it is taking here then then this is like one web linkedin and then twitter every account you can get if you click here it will take you web basically it is taking you with that your uh, uh, what you called your channel page and then if you click here uh, for start i gave her one more link if you click here it will also take you in your uh, home page cloud home page like youtube your channel home page basically So like that, we can maintain our own uh, static web page. So it is very simple. So you can also try uh, your own profile or like I said, right? If any disaster uh, kind of thing is happening in your application, right? In that case, you can bring it up this kind of web page. Like here you can write some, this application is under maintenance. So please test even something like that for your application. Suppose you, your uh, application name is some uh, share with family, okay? In that share with family, it's just due to some reason it is down, right? So who are the end user? They will uh, don't get any unnecessary message. For them, we can bring it up this kind of a static web page. And I will quickly show you a little bit about this uh, script. What we written here? Very simple. Uh, not much like uh, two method. And then I have written some CSS here. Reset the CSS file. OK. So I hope this is a help. Uh, who are really interested to learn this uh, Azure and Azure static web application. So friend, if you'd like this session, this video, please share with your friends nearest to you. And if you don't mind, please subscribe my channel so that it will really help to me and it will really inspire to me to create this kind of uh, video.